hello and welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you for joining me today again and if you are new kindly subscribe before you leave so you can join the family um in today's video like the title says i will be talking about the things you really need to know before you relax your hair although the basic principles of how to achieve a healthy hair can be the same sometimes the, there are differences between relaxed and natural hair and i think you should know those differences before you make that big decision to relax your hair So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is that in the relaxed hair community, water is not your friend. Moisture is good, very important to avoid breakage and drying the hair. But wetness, when your hair is wet, nah, that is not the time to detangle it. That is not the time you want to brush it or comb it. That is the time to leave it alone. Just let the hair be. Let it dry for a while before you begin to manipulate it. The second thing is that relaxing your hair is permanent. So you want to be sure it is what you want to do. By the time you apply the relaxer and it straightens your hair, it does not revert back with water. So you really need to be sure that that is what you want to do before you go ahead and do it. Thirdly, you're going to be dealing with two hair textures and that is not as fun as it sounds. When you relax your hair, you straighten it. And in between relaxers, you're going to have new growth. And those new growths will be in your natural hair texture. So in between relaxers, you'll be dealing with straight relaxed hair and very tightly coiled natural hair. It is treating your hair like it's relaxed, treating it like it's natural at the same time, finding a balance that will make it not snap at that transition point. Just have that in mind before you relax your hair. The fourth thing I'll be talking about is that you will be sacrificing volume for length. So natural hair goes outwards, relaxed straight hair, straight hair grows downwards right so when you apply relaxer on your hair to straighten it you'll be sacrificing all that volume all that puffiness that you have for length right so hair is not going to be anymore it's going to be not scanty but longer and more stretched out so number five you have to make sure your hair is in a good state before you relax it you have to make sure your hair is healthy enough to take relaxers because relaxers are chemicals and they can be harsh. I mean, they are literally straightening your hair permanently. So you have to make sure your hair is in a very healthy state to be able to take it. So you don't come and say it is relaxer that spoils your hair. Relaxer did this, relaxer did that when your hair was not even healthy in the first place. So make sure you assess the health of your hair before you apply relaxer to it. Number six is that your hair porosity might change your hair might become more porous if you had a low porosity hair natural hair before you apply the relaxer the relaxer because it's chemical it might make your hair more porous than it used to be and i just think you should have that in mind and lastly you may need to change up your hair routine now that your hair is relaxed a lot of things have changed like the porosity like i mentioned earlier so at this point you may you may have to unlearn some of the practices you used to do when your hair was natural and relearn some of the things that are practiced in the natural in the relaxed hair community so things like the um, not manipulating your hair when it's wet like i mentioned earlier so it's like a whole new process of figuring out um, what works for your hair what doesn't work practices and products are like additionally if you have decided to relax your hair it's time now to sit down and do your research on the different types of relaxers that there are the lie relaxer the no lie relaxer the different strengths of relaxers that there are the super the mild the regular and stuff like that so you know that you're applying what is best for your hair finally i want to say that you have to be really sure like one of the points I mentioned, it is permanent. So you have to be sure that this is what you want to do. And when you've decided that you want to relax your hair, then you can hop on to the easy side of life. Thank you so much for watching this video to the very end. I like it when you do that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you learn something new, if you agree with the things that I said, if you have anything to say, if there's anything you think I left out, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Until next time, see you. Bye.